Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth. And today we're going to be playing the kitchen sink. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you can play the kitchen sink, but as you can imagine with such a title, this particular puzzle seems to have all the variants that we've ever played before in one single puzzle. So it's kitchen sink in the fog. I actually missed that off the title somehow. I keep doing this recently. Anyhow, uh, there's a lot of rules to walk through. I may not actually explain them all, otherwise we'll be here forever. So I'm going to see what I can do and uh, somehow get started. Um, I mean, you can see Sleuthy is standing in front of a kitchen sink. There's not a lot more to describe. Let's crack on. Right, kitchen sink in the fog. Goodness me. By Megan033. Rules-wise, yeah, we do have a lot of them. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, column, and 3x3 three three box. We know that one. Digits along a grey palindrome must read the same forwards and backwards. I don't think there's any palindrome that are revealed in here, but... Hmm. Just imagine that somewhere in this grey fog is a line that looks, I guess, like this. That would be a terrible palindrome that there's no way this is going to work. Maybe something like that. There we go. And essentially, these three cells will say, let's say this is uh, A, B, C. And for it to read the same backwards, it would have to be A, B, C. That's all there is to it. Uh, we have somewhere in here a German whisper line. Let's imagine another German whisper line. So if these cells were on a green German whisper line, then cells would have to alternate between low and high digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, because each cell along this line must be five or more apart. So if you imagine that this cell here is a 2, these two would have to be 7, 8, or 9 to be five or more apart, and the cycle repeats. If this here was an 8, this would be 1, 2, or 3, and so on and so forth. No fives on a German whisper line. Very tough to have five or more apart whilst remaining between the digits one to nine under normal Sudoku rules. What else do we have? We have a <laughs> purple magenta. I'm going to be drawing a lot uh, so far. So if there are these cells on a German uh, on a magenta line or a Remban line, if one cell here is a one, this essentially would be a one, two, three, four, five Remban line. They don't have to be in any order. This could be something like that, for example. What you couldn't do is have a six in here because they are no longer consecutive um, on this Remban. So it has to be a set of non-repeating digits in any order. We have digits along a blue line create some lines where the sum line of the line in a particular three by three box must be the same across all the boxes. Uh, I am going to, I'm running out of space, so let's try this. So if you imagine that this cell here is a region sum line, essentially what it's saying, these three cells sum up to a value must equal the same value that's in this cell here. Essentially, each segment of the line in a box must have the same total. So this could be a six with one, two, three, for example, that would be a valid region sum line. We have digits along an orange Nabner line cannot contain repeated digits and no digits along the line may be consecutive. Orange. Okay. I am going to have to get very creative here. Um, is that even working? Let's try that again. There. So that's one, two, three, four, five lines. I know that something like that would have to be one, three, five, seven, and nine in some order. This is not one or three because of this one, two, three, for example. But you'll notice in here is that the Nabner lines, no single two digits are consecutive. And I know that because I picked all of digits, they are definitely not consecutive. That's going to be the trick for a Nabner line is to make sure none of the cells here are consecutive. If I remove, for example, all of these ones and add a two, I've broken it because the two and the three, regardless of where they are, are consecutive. So they don't have to necessarily be in any particular location on the Nabner line. This is enough to break it. Uh, digits along each thermometer must increase starting from the bulb end. Uh, so this cell here is the bulb. These cells are increasing. That could be two, three, and four. 
what you couldn't do is go from two, three, and then actually decrease and go back down to one. That breaks the thermometer. Uh, cells filled between two circles must have values between those. Oh, no, sorry, arrow sum first. Yeah, digits along each arrow must sum to the digit in the circled cell. So these three cells here sum up to a value that you need to be able to write in here. So something like six with one, two, three would be absolutely fine. Kind of, bear in mind a thermometer, but I'm not going to try and solve the puzzle. Cells with a filled circle must be odd. A black dot between cells indicates a cell value with a 2 to 1 ratio. So that could be 2 and 1, for example. Of course, that could be a 4, as long as one cell is double the other, that's fine. Cell with a white dot connected then would have to be 1 or 3, for example, so that they are consecutive. Not all dots are shown. If that was, for example, a 4 and this cell here was a 2, no black dot between them, that's absolutely fine. Uh, what else do I have? Killer cages, the diagonal is obvious. These three cells must sum up to 10. Somewhere in here is going to be a cage. Let's pretend it's these three cells and there is an, in here a number that's what it's meant to be. And then you're meant to come up with a set of three digits that add up to that number. This is going to be very awkward to keep going, but I'm going to stop here. I think I haven't explained the in-between cells. Um, let's do that quickly. Let's imagine that this is two circles with a line in between them. Essentially, this cell here, let's say it's a 2. This cell here is an 8. Uh, the cells on the in-between line must be between 2 and 8 in this particular case. So that would be 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7 would all be fine. What you cannot have is either of the ends or 1 or 9, of course. Right. I'm definitely tempted to clear this uh, puzzle now with all of these drawings that I have. You get the idea. There's a lot of rules. It's the kitchen sink in the fog after all. As always, if you want to help Sleuth clean up, link will be in the description down below for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. I spent seven minutes explaining rules. Right. We're not given a lot to start, so let's just think about this thermometer. So I know three cells that add up to a single digit value must contain one or two. If you don't have one or two, the next three digits will be three, four, five. That's too big. That adds up to 12. So you can see as a result of that, that I couldn't do something like two, one on this thermometer. Um, that would allow me to, well, I would break this arrow sum for sure. Now, I'm trying to think, 2, 3, 4 also looks very difficult because that would put 1 and 5 on here, and that would already add up to 10. So I don't think this can even be as low as 4. The next possibility would be 5. What would that allow me to do? That seems achievable. Let's have a think. 1, 2, 8, or 3. That looks fine. Kind of, except it breaks the black dot. You see, 1, 2, 4, and 8, and 3. Only one that was left with a 6, but without the 3, that doesn't work. And I don't think it matters what the order is. Yeah, because the 5 in here means 4, 3, and 1, 2 have to all be in there. Even if I avoid getting a sum to an 8, let me show you. 1, 3, 4, 2, and a 9. Is that a 9? That is a 9. It doesn't matter because the 4 is used. That's 4 or 8. So I think this has to be a minimum of 6 now for this to work. And... Yeah, now that there is a 6, this is 4. So this has to be 1, 2 because that adds up to a 9. Now, I have to use 5 and 3. And the reason I'm specifically calling 5 and 3 is that I need to preserve the 4 and 8 in here. And that would have to be the 7. So this is at least a 6. And it's a maximum of a 6. Because if you go any higher than 6 on a 3 cell arrow sum that adds up to only a single digit, you know, you've broken it. 
7 plus 1, 2 gets me to 10. That doesn't work. This is the absolute maximum. This is the absolute minimum. So the 6 I'm confident of, that's a 6. And as a result, the 9 I'm confident of, that's a 9. These are definitely 1, 2. And yeah, the rest of it is forced. Once this is a 6, this has to be 5 and 3 to preserve the 4, 8. That's 5, that's 3, that's 7, that's all forced. Lovely. Right, this cell here. Uh, if it's a 4, well, it clearly can't be a 5 on a German whisper line. I could do a 3. If it's an 8, I could do a 7 or 9. Well, not a 9. 9 is already down here, so 9 is off. This cell is at least, if it's if this is a high digit, this is at least 3 or 4. That doesn't work. You can see that because the 1 and 2 are gone. That can't be a 7. This has to be, why did I say 2? 3. This has to be a 3. This has to be high. Next to a 3, this is 8 or 9. Then it's 1, 2 or 4 if this is a 9. This has to be 7 or 9 because it's a high digit and it's not 6 or 8. In fact, we can actually, sorry, I meant to say we can actually disambiguate these now. And this has to be a low digit from, well, it could be a lot actually, 1, 2, 3 or 4 because this can be a 9. Right, uh, we've been given a bit more information. So let's think about probably the Remban now. So without the Remban, and actually without whatever this digit is, 8 or 9, this is at least 4, 5, 6, 7. So 5, 6, 7 are definitely on here with either a 4 or an 8. What I don't have on here, because this is a 3, is 1 and 2. So 1 and 2, not there. 1 and 2, not on here. This is 1, 2. And this cell here, is the missing four or eight because essentially five six and seven are on here one of these it, digits that's not on the remban is in here which is four or eight but i guess that can be the eight and then this could be a nine so it could be four eight or nine because this is not resolved this is eight or nine right uh, 7 is not these two, 7 is definitely in here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I mean, 6 is these three cells, 5 is these three cells, this is not worth it. Um, and this is still not worth it, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is interesting. Does this end here? I'm kind of half tempted to say it does. You see, if I continue this, um, I've even lost what they're called now. There's so many different rules. There was palindrome, excuse me. If I continue this palindrome, I think I'm in trouble. Here, yeah, let me show you. Let's just say this line continues. And because of the mirror nature of that, these two cells are the same, these two cells are the same, these two cells are the same, and then these two in the same box are the same. Now I can grow it again, have another cell in here, for example, and yes, that would sort of half fix it, would it? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm gonna end up in trouble again. It's a long way, I think. I think this has to end in here. Yeah, you see, because it's very deliberate. It's very deliberate by Megan. Three cells and three cells, and this one very deliberately in the middle. So that if you're trying to exit the box, you're always going to end up creating another cell in the same box, which is always going to get you in trouble. Very interesting, unless it's like a giant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unless like I create another seven cells, one, two, three, and I can see some kind of line in here, an orange corner. So does it say anywhere that the lines never cross or anything? So I could do like a ridiculous line, like, no, I can't, again, I can't repeat too many. 
in the same box, otherwise I'm in trouble. So I could do something like this. Is that seven, one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, that would probably work. So I could do something ridiculous like that. Much more likely it ends. Right, let's think about these for a second. Let's just think about what these are. This is one, two. The seven is definitely, oh, hang on, this could be a seven. Let's think about the nine, the nine, this is the gift, right? This can only be one, two. Because this is a nine cage, the maximum cell I can put in here, we've already discussed this extensively in box five, is a six. But look, three, four, five, oh, this could be a six. For a second, I was thinking this is a one, two, seven triplet, and it's going to force a seven, and this is six or eight, which isn't even ruled out. If this is, this would end up being one, two, six. I am going to pretend for a second this ends. I think this is a very likely scenario. So this would be one, two, six. This couldn't be one, two, or six. That you can't have a six because you need six with a double one, two, and this can't be a six. Yep. Yeah. That's that's a triplet that forces this to be a seven. I'm confident of that now. That's a one, two. This is six, eight. That's not a six. But that would make this six, eight if that's the last cell. That's not possible. These two are the same, these two are the same, these two are the same, and this is six or eight. I haven't broken it. Hang on, what's going on here? I couldn't put seven in here. Seven with one and two would be too big, that would be ten. So yeah, six is a possibility no it can't be require one two and six which none of them can be here six is definitely not there which forces this to be a seven then what's going on in here i would have one two three four five seven eight nine Does that mean that it doesn't continue? Is that the conclusion of it? Sleuth, you're not thinking. You wrote a seven in here and it didn't reveal anything. Sorry about that. So that's not the seven. So my deduction in here is wrong. How is it wrong? Where, are, where am I making a mistake? This being 1, 2 is a definite. Because the 1, 2 in here means... Sorry, why do I have 1, 2s? Excuse me. And this being 1, 2 means no 1, 2s in here. We know 1 and 2 is not on the Rembrandt because of the 3. This has to be 1, 2. Right. I pencil marked that incorrectly. This could be six or seven. That's why. Pay attention, sleuth. That's what I meant to say. It's not five. It's not nine. Oh, it could even be an eight. Six, seven, eight. Right. Definitely time to think, sleuth. This is a one, two pair for sure. Now, back to that 6-8 problem that I heard earlier, it could actually be 6-7 or 8, and in fact, it has to be a 7 because of this 6-8. So that makes that a 7. That makes this a 7. That is not a 7. Wakey-wakey. That's the 7. That's 1-2. This is 6-8. Much better. I, I don't know why I pencil mark this as 1-2-7. I just... Lost my mind for a bit there. 
5 is definitely in here with 4, 5, or 6. Can't be the 8, but it could be the 4. Come back to that. This is 1 or 2. This is clearly not a 6 anymore. This cell in here, what is it? I could do 1, 2. I could do 4. I can't do 5. And we've discussed this again extensively. 6 is too big because none of these could be 1, 2, or 6. So this is 1, 2, 4. This cell is at least 3, all the way up to 4 and 5, but not 6, definitely not 7. Right. Is the 9 cage now solved? It's almost like a question I want to ask. Let's think about this for a second. So 2, 3, 4 definitely works. Can this be a 5? The 5 would require 4, and this is not 1 or 3, so this is there is no 5. And there is no 5 means that this has to be 2, 3, 4, otherwise the digits are too small. That's the only 3, that's the 3. And therefore, this has to be the 2 because it's not the 4, that's the 2, that's the 4. These are not 4s. This is a 5, 6, that gives me an 8, so that gives me a 6. Lovely. That is now 4, 2, and it gives me this entire region sum line. Fantastic. So down here, well, before I go down here, but 2 gives me 1, gives me 2, and now this is 1, 9. So any chance that this is 8? If this is a 1, these would be 8. I would need to use 1, 3, and I can't even get to 8 because 2 and 4 are gone. So 1, 2, 5 and 1, 3, 4 are both not available. So 8 is not achievable in here. That's got to be the 9. That's got to be the 1. I'm now aiming for 16 between these. Lovely. Um, this 2 gives me a 1. This gives me a 2. This 7 tells me this is not a 7. This is a 9. This tells me it's not 1 or 2. This is 3 or 4. Ooh, this mini now. So I didn't explain that as part of the rules, but this cell has to be smaller than this cell, which means this has to be a 4, because I've already got 1 and 2. So the minimum I can put in here would be a 3. That's got to be higher. That's 4. That's 3. Lovely. That 4 removes a 4 from here. This is now 1 or 2, allowing this to be, well, it's not an 8, because I've already placed the 8. That's a 9. That's the 4. Sleuth, really pay attention. I'm kind of bemused by some of the rudimentary mistakes I'm making today. This is 5, 8. You can kind of see 1 and 2 are not in here. Actually, the 2 is a lot more interesting. 2 is not there because of this 2. That's a 2. Still, one is one of two cells. Um, maybe time to think about 16. 16 and two cells have to be 7, 9. That 7 is not here. That's a 7. That's a 9. That's the in-between. I, yeah, I did explain it, so I don't have to do anything in here. Um, three cells that add up to 16. This is probably the easier one. This is 1 or 5, because it's an odd digit, it's not 3, it's not 7, it's not 9. With the 10, so we need to think about these together. If this is 1, these two cells have to add up to 15, and essentially it would have to be, well, because of 7, 9, this would have to be 6 or 8, and this would have to be 7 or 9, well, it's not a 7, so this would have to be 9, this would have to be 6, if this is a 1. And then this would have to be 2, 3, 5. And because of this 2, 3, this would be 5. This 2 would make this a 2. This would make this a 3. So far, it looks highly achievable. You could actually resolve it fully with this 7. You could put a 7 in here. And this would be 4, 8. Can I resolve these? No, I can't. OK, almost fully resolvable. Right, if this is a 5, then I need to get to 11 in these two cells. Is it 11? 12, excuse me, to get to um, 17. 
Now 5, 7 is clearly out. 9, 3 is that possibility. That would be a 9. That would be a 3. 5, 9, 3. And then 4, 8 is out. Yeah. So 9, 3 would be here. And then what would happen to the 10? Um, so I would have a 1 for sure because 2, 3, 5 is out. And I would have a 1 between these two cells and then two cells that add up to 9, which is not 2, 7, not 3, 6 because the 3 is gone, and not 4, 5 because the 5 is gone. So that breaks if I put a 5 in here, the 10 breaks. So that is a 1, that is a 9, that is a 6, that is a 3, 2, 5, 7, and then a 4, 8 pair. Lovely. Not resolved, okay. These three cells now. Is that 1... Three five. Well, the one is not here. It's a one three pair. That's got to be the only. That's the only place for a five because the rest are too small. This is one three. Um, this is six seven eight. Looks like it. Except that's not a seven. That's not a seven either. That's the seven sleuth. Hang on, the seven was always there. Come on, it, nine. Not a 9, could be a 9. Definitely a 9 because of 9, 9, 9, 9. That's a 9. This is 6 or 8. Clumsy solve today for some reason. And then I have another 6, 8 in here with a 5. The 5 is forced onto the line. That's a 5. This is 6 or 8. Right. Um, so I need to get to 17. These two need to get to... 16, excuse me, 9 and 7, 16. So these two, without the 5, need to get to 11, which is 8 and 3. And this is a 6. That 8 gives me the 4, the 8, the 8 carries on, gives me the 5, the 8. This is a 6. This is now known with 1, 8 and 7, 1, 7, 8. But that's not the 1. Next to the three, these three cells, this time it is six, seven, eight, not a six. Why did I put nine? No nines. Right. You can see because of this, oh, hang on, that could be a one. I don't see a problem with this being a one. I mean, whatever it is, oh, no, I can't say whatever it is. Because if this is one, this could be even a seven. That's not a 7, though, because that would break all of them. 6, 7, and 8 would all be consecutive or the same digit. This is 1 or 8. How do I resolve this? This 1, 2. Let's have a look. That's forced to be a 1. 2. Actually, these 2, what are they? 5, 8, I'm going to say. That looks quite small without the one on this side. What are these three cells? In fact, what is this cell? We can just write it in. Six. So five, six, seven, eight? No. Five, six, seven, eight doesn't work because seven and nine are not available. But that's a definite eight. That's a five. That's a six. That's a five. These two cells, uh, the two is definitely on here and because this is not a one that's a two that's a one that's an eight this is a seven this is a one this has to be now a six on this nabner line to not be consecutive with the eight that's a six uh, this is an eight this is a seven lovely these two cells are three and four that four gives us an order for three uh, we may as well use this last clue that we're given Highly likely it's a 1. Right, let's just think about what all of this is. It's 1, 4, 
one, three, four, not a three. Four will be consecutive with the three, that's a one. Four gives me the three, gives me the four. This is now two, five, nine, which ironically are all on different columns. Not two, not five, not nine. Right, these two cells, can that help me resolve it? Four and eight, yes. Four, eight, doesn't help with two, five, nine. In here, what do I need next? I need a two. Not going to be able to resolve that. How about the threes? Um, threes. Five, no. Two I can resolve, surely. Two, no. Six is also in here. Two, six pair. Six gives me six, gives me two, gives me five, nine, two. Uh, this has to be the five. This has to be the nine. And if I've not made any more mistakes, that was, like I said, a bit clumsy sometimes with my typing. That's a seven. Lovely puzzled, Megan. Sorry about, um, I mean, the seven in here, that was atrocious, the one, two, seven. What else did I sort of kind of mess up somewhere? I think that was fine. That was fine. Yeah, that was fine. I think it was just, yeah, that seven. Anyhow. Uh, hopefully you had a smoother solve than I did and that you enjoyed the puzzle as well. It is a tough fog puzzle, but the advantage of the fog puzzle, which again somehow didn't click for me, is that when you make a typo, it tells you. Anyhow, bye-bye for now. See you in the next video.